Hello friends, welcome back to the video series on design of steel structural elements. In the previous video for the design uh, uh, compressive axial load capacity of this same column that is ISHP 300 of length 3 meter. So we used a few formula to actually find out uh, what is the value of uh, FCD and uh, finally we found the value of PD that is the uh, design axial load capacity of that column using the formula. Now uh, we can also use instead of formulae we can also use a tab some tables given in IS 800-2007 so we'll see how to use those formula uh, those tables but uh, before that uh, I will once again uh, uh, write down what is the formula for PD so PD is equal to FCD into A right so AE value will remain same that is uh, 7484 mm square now to find FCD we will not actually uh, uh, use those formulae but instead what we will do we will actually use the term called KL by R right so I have already told you what is the value of K since both the ends of the column are hinged 1 multiplied by the length of the column is 3 meters that is 3000 I am taking divided by the minimum radius of garrison for IS HB 300 uh, which is 54.1 so this I am getting 54.1 so if I calculate this value I am getting 3000 divided by 54.1 I am getting 55.45 right so I am getting 55.45 and I also know in which buckling class this column falls that is buckling class B this column falls in buckling class B so these are the two important terms which we should know before using those tables that is scale by R which is 55.45 and which buckling class it falls now uh, I will just open IS 800 2007 right and uh, now you can see these tables right uh, now we will not actually use the table 8 but instead we will directly go for table 9 right yeah table 9 so which gives design compressive stress FCD for buckling class A but ours is buckling class B so I should refer this table right 9B design compressive strength FCD for column buckling class B now my KL by R value is 55.45 which is uh, something in between 50 and 60 right and these are the values for yield strength right these are the values for yield strength that is FY so FY is 50 so 50 to 60 uh, it means I should be getting my FCD in between 194 and 194 and 181 right so I have to do the linear interpolation uh, I have made one simple excel sheet for that so this is 50 and this is 60 and I need the value for 55.45 right so for a 50 for 50 FCD is 194 194 and for this 60 FCD is 181 right so for 55.45 uh, some problem with this right yeah uh, <coughs> there was some problem with the excel sheet so I just revised that one so for 60 it is 181 for 50 it is 194 therefore for 55.45 it is 186.9 so using table so using table 9b fcd is equal to 187 almost okay so i know fcd now i can easily calculate the value of pd that is 187 multiplied by 7484 so which is coming out to be 187 multiplied by 7484 
so 1400 kilonewton so in the previous example using formula I had got 1402 now here I am getting 1402 so it is very close to the actual value so we can use the tables to directly find the value of PD now you can know uh, in few steps only I can easily find out the value of PD but uh, when I use uh, formulae uh, I took some more steps in that so tables also can be used directly to find the value of uh, design actual load capacity so this example demonstrated you how to use the tables right so we'll see from few more examples in the next videos thank you